So hey guys, welcome back to the part 3 of the Mocha Pro series. In this one, we'll see how to use the remove tool in Mocha Pro. So as usual, first add your Mocha Pro plugin and open it. And as a first step, let's see how our subject is moving. So in this one, the car is the subject that we have to remove. And you can see it's consistently moving and we are not getting much of a motion in the background. So in this one, we'll use the basic of remove function to remove the subject from our background. So let's start by first selecting our subject. And in the latest version of Mocha Pro series, you don't have to select the subjects or anything manually. You have a new tool in Mocha Pro called Magic Mask. In this one, you have to select the Magic Mask and select the subject that you have to select. And after analyzing the frame for a couple of seconds, your subject will be selected automatically by the Mocha Pro. And if you want to add to the selection, just click one more time where you have to add. And if you want to remove something, just press and hold Alt and click the area where you have to deselect. And after selecting your subject, if you are satisfied, just go back to the pick tool and you can see it's converted to the splines. And before tracking, don't forget to right click on the splines and go to spline and turn off the single frame. Because this tool is mainly used to create mats which do not require to track or anything. You have to just select the generate mat and track forward. And if you want to track something using the magic mask, you have to do the right click spline and turn off the single frame. And after that, you can see the selection is so much precise. But we don't want that much precise of a selection so you can go to the edge properties and go to the both section and increase the selection that way you can increase the selection all equally after that go to the outer section and increase the feather by little bit and in this one we pretty much want translation scale rotation shear let's keep it in default and drag forward and you can see our tracking has been finished and the tracking is on point without any drift or anything now let's make a selection of the background that we have to replace our subject with. So let's go to the magic mask again and select the road that you have to replace. And after making the selection, just come back to our pick tool and right click, change it to single frame off. Let's disable the tangent for a couple of seconds. And after that, you have to enable the show planar surface option and increase to the size where you have to copy and replace the subject with. After that, just click track forward. And now you can see we have made a selection of our background and we have a tracking of our foreground subject that we have to remove. And make sure that your background layer is under your main subject layer that you have to remove. Now let's unhide our subject layer and turn on the gear icon and turn off the gear for the background icon. And after that let's come to the remove tab and you can see our render option is now visible and click the render option. And after analyzing the frame for a couple of seconds you can see our subject is now removed. You just you can just turn off the UI option and you can see the image clearly. And if your removal is perfect without any artifacts or anything, if you want, you can just save it with a single frame in Mocha Pro. Just close it and go to After Effects. You can render it from inside the After Effects. Or if you want to render further frames, you can just click the Render Forward option here. And after rendering a couple of frames in Mocha, you can see our remove is perfect. So let's save it in Mocha and go back to After Effects. And now you can see there isn't any much difference. The clip is as it is. So you have to expand the module renders option in your effect control. And you have to select the remove option from the module. After that, click render. And you can see our render has been transported to After Effects. And you can see your preview render may be slow because it is rendering from the Mocha to After Effects. So it might be a little bit slow. If you want, you can wait for the render to finish and you can get a preview. Or if you want, you can just directly export it from here. It will do all the calculation during the export and it will be perfect. And that was all for how to use the remove function in Mocha Pro. And this is only a basic way of how to use the remove function in Mocha Pro. There are other ways too. For example, if your subject is staying still in a frame in your video, the basic foreground subject and background subject tracking render won't be perfect. And you will be need to use the clean plates to remove those subjects. I'll be making video on that as a separate part in this Mocha Pro series. So if you want to see that part, make sure that you have subscribed to this channel and turn the bell icon on so that you can get the notification as soon as the video uploads. And if you find it useful, please make sure to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any doubt, feedback or question, don't hesitate to drop a comment in this video. I'll be checking each and every comment and will be replying to everyone. And that was it guys. Hope you liked the video. See you in the next one. Until then, have a creative day.